the work that we're doing at the moment is we're looking at increased Laura One coverage in the city but also to get environmental information. So putting sensors on the cargo bikes, the e-bikes um, that Gareth, our project partner, um, maintains. Sustainable transport, bicycles, cargo bikes, they have a massive positive effect. You're, you're killing loads of birds with one stone. You're doing exercise, you're being healthier, and it's beneficial for the environment. So we're looking at building devices like this one. Um, this is a very rough prototype in a takeaway food tub, but it's basically a, um, a, a Laura One um, microcontroller and some sensors. We're looking to just collect lots and lots of data about conditions, so temperature, and light and humidity, and uh, road surface, and anything that looks like it might be useful, basically. Data isn't everybody's thing, obviously, so we'll be generating lots and lots of information about anything we can build a sensor for, but people will see other things that people will build with that data. Maybe the council might want some of the data and they might want to use that to inform what they do uh, with um, road conditions or, or air quality measures or whatever, but other people might want to make music from it, you know, or just like cool maps or visualizations or we honestly don't know. We like to say that what we're doing is trying to take vans off the road, like not all of them in the forever, but certainly the last mile deliveries. If a van was to do 200 half a mile journeys and a cargo bike was to do 200 half a mile journeys, suddenly the benefits become huge. Anybody can ride a cargo bike. You don't have to have a driving license and a driving license can be a massive barrier to work if you're from a challenging position. So this funding's made it possible for us to order the parts that we need and just get on with it and with the budget also for our time to do that because it would have been a passion project otherwise.